Hi guys, it's Emos here on the PB bringing you the new interface. So it has just been added to the PB and it will be live today and tomorrow a little bit. And it will hit again next week with an update on the PB and in the not in this patch, in two patches it will also hit the live servers. So let's check it out really fast. It looks pretty damn nice, it's clean and it's new and it's a lot easier to use. I mean look how uh, much free space you have now. You don't have anything here in the left corner, only have the chat if you want to use it and you can also modify the sizes for now. There's not much customization but we'll look into that soon. Um, they also changed this and it's interesting, also when you level up you have that new animation there as well as when you rank up an ability it looks pretty damn cool. Also the buttons are bigger and they also changed how the cooldowns look like, so as you can see there the cooldowns are different. And also uh, if an item is grey you cannot use it, so as you can see the health potion is with grey because I have full health but if I take some damage here, come on hit me, right then I can use my uh, potion. And I really like how the cooldown thing looks like right now, pretty really nice. Also they changed this, so you can see if you click uh, someone, an enemy champion. Uh, you can see how much CS they have and their KDA. Also their build and everything is a lot cleaner. And if you want to see your stats, you can press C or press here. Uh, if you press this, it will be permanent and you can see your attack, your ability power, magic resistance and everything. That's a bit harder, I know I like to have that there with armor and everything, but this looks pretty cool as well. And you can see uh, magic penetration here as well, spell vamp, tenacity, you, can ha you have everything around here. Great lifesteal, um, cooldown reduction as well, that's nice to have, and also attack range, which is good. And in the right, now we still have the minimap, with the pings and everything, you don't have buttons for pings anymore and for the menu, so you have to press escape to go to the new options, this also looks different, and here you can modify the size, uh, summoner names, HUD animations, I don't know, the HUD animations are not here yet because this should be animated, this will be animated eventually, but I really like the crystals that we had uh, in the left and in the right. I don't know, maybe they'll add something like that as well, but this is pretty nice, it's so simplistic, it looks like you're watching a replay, not playing, and <laughs> it's crazy to have all these free spaces, almost like you don't have an interface, <laughs> but it looks cool. And also, you can see your CS here, which is 1, because I didn't farm my explained stuff for you, but if I go and get some minions, you can see that number is raising over there, there is the KDA, and here is the time now, the time of the game, and here is the total score, the kills of each team, that also appear here, the timers are the same, and you can see how many towers and dragons you have, and also you can move, uh, you can move the champions around here, you can see yourself with that thing in front, and you can just move around if you want to have the same lane, say I have, want to have a uh, Needle here because I'm on lane with her, so you can position them in the order that you want to. Also, they said that items will stack uh, by their price, so if you buy something uh, more expensive, it will show here first. I don't know if that works, but I think it does. Interesting, so no longer how you place them. I don't know, let's say I put boots there, they still show the boots first. See, so now they order them uh, in order of how expensive items are. That's interesting. The recall button is over there, you can also see the shop here, and the shop's a bit different as well. Also, look, the recall is different, you can see this uh, new thingy here. And this is how the shop looks like now. Pretty much the same, but it has a new skin, and this new sell button here. Looks nice, I like it. And let's buy something here, that looks the same when you buy them. But you have nice effects when you mouse over them. <laughs> I don't know. It will take a while to get used, but I think it's for the better. I really like what they did here. And also, the last thing that we have is... Uh, we have all the champions here. And this dot above them is uh, the ultimate, so they will light green when they hit level 6. And I'll show you when I level 6. And also, when you kill an enemy champion, their death timer will appear above. So let's... Kill Nidali. I'll kill Nidali and uh, tell you how it looks like, and then we're going to die and see what happens when we die, what interface options and stuff like that we have, and I'll also show you the ultimate here. Alright. And the death timer, there's the death timer for our guys. But let's just kill her now. 
Maybe we can many times above in the levels and below I mean all right so you can see the death timer there 22 and it's you no longer have to hit tab to see and look if you go with mouse over them you can see their names and what they're playing and you can also see their icon well it's not added yet since all have the same but you will be able to see their icons here it's pretty damn cool I really like that uh, new thing there Right, let's also see the scaling a little bit, so how small can you get it? So you can make it something like that, and the minimap as well, so this is how small you can go to, <laughs> if you want a lot of safe space. And I don't know if you can go over, no, you cannot go over 100. Because when I first started I had it at 114 and it looked weird. So some stuff needs to be added, um, they will add the animations to the bars and all that. But in rest it looks cool. What I would recommend to do is to make the chat smaller, I think. So let's say we make it to 70. And make it how I made it transparent so you can modify it through here. And make it a bit smaller, something like this. Let's say make it transparent and just put it down here. So it's... It takes even less from the screen. Maybe it's a bit too small to read, but... Or too down to have an eye on, but... <laughs> I like how it looks. And let's see how it looks when you die. Well, after we kill her, probably, but... Yeah. Alright, I like that level up the most. So let's see. When you die. Um, yeah, the death timer, it's the same. They should really update this. Look at the border of this. This should be updated as well. They might. But I like the CS and everything, how it looks there. The items as well. So, yeah, let's buy that and see. Yep, it appears, even if I have it here in the second place, it appears um, prior to the boots because it costs more. And if I upgrade the boots, the boots will come first because now the boots cost more. Hmm, that's a nice concept to see the first items, the biggest item that they have. They have Rabadons and they, that will appear first if they have them. Nice. I really like it. Right, so tell me what you think about the new interface. This is all for now. And I'll keep updating you if something big happens again, if they will change anything. And tell me what do you want to change, they are looking for feedback, so you can go to their forum and post stuff there. But yeah, that's it for now. I think it looks cool, I really like what they've done to this, and the shop and everything, and the timers. And yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.